we are here at Freik at the FIBA in Switzerland for our second meeting of our core organic project, the Tour Cow project, dedicated to dual purpose animals, dual purpose cattle. Um, we are a consortium of eight different partner countries and we basically just try to work out the differences, the major differences between dual purpose animals and conventional animals and where maybe the dual purpose animals have advantages, especially in grazing based production systems. The reason why we are so interested in dual purpose animals is because we're convinced that they have some advantages conventional or high milk yielding animals might not have. For instance, certain adaptabilities to environmental factors like heat stress, for instance, or fodder quality. And this is basically why we want to try to combine dual purpose animals and pasture based production systems. We want to compare high yielding Holstein cattle and local cattle uh, on different scales, on phenotypic scales, as well as on genetic scales, and also on genomic scales, including genomic market data. We're looking into different phenotypes or phenotypic traits, which are production traits, for instance, milk yield, but they are not our major goal. We're more interested in health traits and behavior traits, especially because of pasture production systems. We might need animals that are better adapted to their environments in pasture. Later on, we're trying via genotyping of these animals to link their adaptational traits to actual genetic sequences. We're using the phenotypic traits, for instance, body condition score or locomotion score. In order to measure the action or activity traits of the animals, we have implemented 50 sensors in our research farm, which are now recording the rumination period, the activity period, lying period, feeding period. And with that, we can actually supervise what the animal has been doing over the day. And we would like to find out whether we can actually develop another estimated breeding value, especially for pasture-based production systems, including functional traits and health traits, behavior traits, which might be more important in uh, low input systems like pasture-based production systems. We have experts from Wageningen University. They have strong experience in recording environmental descriptors. We have people with a strong focus on quantitative genetics and breeding program designs. And in our consortium, we also have included scientists with a strong uh, background how to analyze genomic market data. And combining all the results from the three main areas, our intention is to develop specific organic breeding goals. And I hope that in the future, participating research farms or also farms working with endangered breeds, that they apply those breeding goals or selection indices.